The new option for shoppers in the tri-state after Costco opened its doors this morning at its brand new location on Cross Point Boulevard on Evansville's east side. But could this mean a shift in uh, shopping habits in Evansville? Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller spoke with some shoppers at Costco today. Amanda? Well, two very similar stores are now in very close proximity to each other. Both charge members an annual fee and offer products in wholesale or bulk. So will shoppers be switching up their shopping trips? As I found out today, it all depends on where the loyalty lies. Today's my birthday, so this is my birthday present, the opening of Costco. Tom O'Hagan is not the only one celebrating in the parking lot on Friday. I couldn't wait. <laughs> For some, it was too hard to wait to get home. These Johnny Pops are really good. <laughs> I tell you. He ate too. <laughs> We've been preparing for it. Others were just out to explore. Do you think it's going to be worth it? Well, I don't know. I haven't been in yet. But some say there is no question. I get out of work early, and everybody knows it, to come up here to Costco today. It's great. There are even those that have relocated to the tri-state and have been waiting for Costco to catch up with them. We had Costco in Chattanooga, so I'm used to it. Yeah, we've been members for 15 years. The opening of Costco puts two warehouse clubs within one mile of each other here in Evansville. So we wanted to know, is this going to change customers' shopping habits? Are you a Sam's Club member at all? Yes, I am okay, as do you, well. Do you plan to keep that membership? Yes. Uh, no. Oh. No. No, right. no need. If you really like it here, are you going to keep your Sam's Club membership? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I like Costco better than Sam's. But you're going to keep them both. But I'm going to keep them both. Well, my son told me I couldn't have both. But I told him <laughs> he, he wasn't in charge. <laughs> So yes, customers told me they will be members at both stores. For some, it ultimately comes down to fuel prices in addition to those groceries. Amanda Mueller, Eyewitness News.